third part of it is assessing the current security performance. This evaluates the performance of the existing security structures which means evaluating the performance of oneself or a team or a department. This is where actually an external audit can prove additional value because it ensures that no internal bias is affecting the outcome of the audit. It is really critical to the legitimacy and the efficiency of the internal security audit to try block or bias towards evaluating and assessing the performance of the department. This works both ways depending on the strengths and weaknesses of the team as it relates to threats one face. Factoring in the organization's ability to either defend against some of the threats or keep valuable assets well protected, this becomes invaluable during the prioritization. The next one is prioritizing or the risk scoring. A list of threats to weigh the potential damage of a threat occurrence versus the changes that is actually that can occur due to certain things like assigning a risk score to each one of it. That's what is being carried out in this phase. During this threat assessment, it is important to take a step back and look at the following additional factors. These are all very important factors. For example, the history of the organization, current cyber uh, security trends, industry level trends, and finally, sometimes even the regulations and the compliances. Next is the formulation of security solution. Of course, this is the final step in the internal security audit and it is a straightforward mechanism. This happens by writing down a prioritized list of threats and the corresponding security improvements or the best practices to negate or eliminate them. Below are the list of common security solutions that can be followed. First and foremost, as we have been discussing in so many modules, employee education awareness. Employee education awareness is the most important or the topmost prioritized one. Next is the email protection. Third one, password safety and access management. Fourth one is network monitoring. Fifth one is data backup. And finally, the software updates. The security services can be executed in different approaches that are intended to meet the business requirements of the companies and market segments. Each approach has its own benefits and the limitations and the right approach for any particular organization depends on their objective for carrying out the audit along with their key concerns and the risk areas. For example, there may be three um, types of audits that are standardly available whereas some of them are suitable for particular organizations. Let us see some of the types, major types of security audits available. They are the black box audit, white box audit and the grey box audit. Black box security audit. In the black box security audit, the team will only have access to publicly accessible information about the target environment. This type of test aims to simulate the real world scenario of external attackers targeting and attempting to compromise the systems. It gives you an insight of the robustness of the information security controls when under targeted attack by malicious intruders. Whereas the white box security audit, in this approach, the team would have much information as possible about the target environment such as the actual employee would possess. This approach is designed to prepare for the worst case scenario where an attacker has in-depth information about the infrastructure. White box testing allows to prepare for scenarios such as insider threats or an attacker who has obtained detailed internal information. This process basically 
reveals more vulnerability and it is much faster since the audit team has transparent access to key information and details that are required for attacking the organization. Next, the third one is a grey box security audit. In a grey box security audit, the team would be given partial information about the target environment such as like the one that could be identified by a motivated attacker. Here the documents provide that may include policy documents or network diagrams and other vulnerable information. This approach aims to deliver a cost effective audit while focusing on areas that are important to the organization. So, grey box testing allows to accurately simulate the entire threat from the attacker who has been able to gain partial information about the infrastructure. The audit prepares for a scenario where certain details of the information have been leaked by social engineering or through some other offline threats. Some of the steps to manage a successful audit are establishing a security baseline through annual audits, spelling out audit objectives, choosing auditors with real security experience, involving business unit managers early, making sure auditors rely on experience not just on checklists, insisting that auditors report reflect the organization's risks. Here, the auditor's report should include a brief executive summary stating the security posture of the organization. The purpose of the audit is to get an accurate snapshot of the organization's security posture and provide a road map for improving it. No two IT security risk assessments are the same or even remotely close. Indeed, there are many ways to perform IT security risk assessments and the results can vary widely depending on the methods used. However, they all mostly follow the same formula such as identify and record asset vulnerabilities, Identify and record both internal and external threats. Obtain vulnerability and threat information from external sources. Determine potential impact on business and their likelihoods. Review threats, vulnerabilities, likelihoods and impacts to identify enterprise risks. Finally, pinpoint and prioritize the risk responses. Security audit is the most essential part to maintain the security system of an organization. Today, security threats are becoming more and more intelligent and important. So, in this section, we discuss uh, various types of security audit mechanisms and how they contribute to maintain the cyber security in general. Thank you, students.